Analog to digital converters, or ADCs, measure the range of an analog signal and convert that analog voltage into a digital value. Radio waves and sound waves are examples of analog signals. These are things that can vary infinitely in their voltage, current, or some other physical quantity. Alternatively, digital signals are finite, so there's a limited number of values that they can be. These signals can be only one of two possible values as long as it's not infinity. Electronics are largely made up of digital components. Some devices are bilingual and they can understand both digital and analog signals, but a lot of them only understand one of the two. An ADC is how we're able to read an analog signal on a digital device. Microcontrollers like the Arduino detect digital signals, which can also be called binary signals. An example is a push button, is the button pressed or not, or an LED, is it on or off? When we connect a jumper wire to 5V on the Arduino, it understands 0 volts as binary 0 and 5 volts as binary 1. That's not very useful if we're trying to read in a range of values from an analog device, though. This is where ADCs come in, and conveniently, the Arduino has one built in. Analog to digital conversions are dependent on the ADC reference voltage and resolution, or bit number. The reference voltage is the maximum value that the ADC can convert. The resolution indicates the number of discrete values that can be produced over the range of analog values. You can find the resolution on the Arduino's datasheet. The UNO has a 10-bit ADC, so we can get a digital value anywhere between 0 and 1023 if we connect to the 5V pin on the board. Think about a potentiometer as an example. A potentiometer is a type of variable resistor. Its resistance can change as you turn a dial. When you use a potentiometer, you connect one of its terminals to ground, one to 5V, and the third to an analog pin. When you turn the knob, the voltage provided is going to vary between 0 and 5 volts and then be mapped to a value between 0 and 1023. So the terminal is reading an analog voltage provided by where you've rotated the dial to, and that value gets mapped to a digital value where 0 represents 0 volts and 1023 represents 5 volts. The calculation to get to that is the resolution of the ADC divided by the system voltage. For the UNO, that would be 1023 divided by 5. This equals the ADC reading divided by the analog voltage measured. Let's say the analog device we're using is putting out a voltage of 3.5. We plug that into the denominator for analog voltage measured and multiply that by the resolution and system voltage. 1023 divided by 5 times 3.5 equals 716. So on a scale between 0 and 1023, we've got an ADC reading of 716 for a 3.5 output voltage. Analog to digital conversion is incredibly useful when working with the Arduino. Another useful concept is covered in this video, pulse width modulation, which is kind of like an analog output instead of an ADC input. Or for project tutorials where we put things like this into practice, check out my channel where I've got beginner Arduino tutorials set to the theme of fixing this broken spaceship that we're on. And usually, we don't even break anything. <laughs>